Hey guys, back with a new video. Today it's exposure. We will adjust the exposure in the right way in Photoshop in this program. And for that, open the photograph that you want to edit today and in the Photoshop and get ready. Selecting the adjustment layer and clicking on exposure, you will get these three properties. With the presets, there are some presets you can use if you want to do it. And uh, here is custom tool. And in exposure, there is offset, there is gamma correction, each and every one. There are some eyedroppers tools. So basically, exposure affects the highlight parts, that is the whites of the photograph. Wherever the white is, like here, her hairs, flowers, that all will be get affected if I directly increase the exposure. And if I decrease it, it will go darker. Something like this. Actually, the photograph is already something overexposed or brightly exposed. So if you want to edit such photographs, you can do it in a fun way here. And here is the offset. Offset actually affects the shadows. So if I increase, you can see there is a direct effect of decreasing the shadows. And if I decrease the offset, it's darkening the shadows up. That's what the offset exactly do. It decreases and increases the black amount in the photograph. And the gamma correction, you can see. It is affecting a lot of areas in the photograph, which means it affects midtones. So here, if I decrease it, the midtones get brighter. If I increase it, the midtone gets quite in a good saturated amount. So this way, you can edit any of your photograph if you find it harsh or too bright or too dark you can edit it over here with the exposure adjustment layer from the layer panel i quite like this look so this was before this is after this is much better so hiding this layer again i'm going to make you guys see different style of adjusting the exposures this time i'll do it from the eyedropper tools you can see here it is white eyedropper, which means this is for adjusting the bright side. Adjust it according to that. This is the mid-tones and these are the shadows. So for the whites, if I click over somewhere here, you know, here's where the highlights are or from the flowers, you can see it will set the exposure according to that. If I click on the white, like here this will turn the photographs upside down and with the midtones I'm going to click somewhere here you can see it's a subtle effect it's not too much affecting but so if you want a whoops this is something too bright which I don't want so anytime you can just click over another place and it's adjusted according to that whenever you are happy with the adjustments you can stop over there now I'm going to black that is for the shadows see it's it's too much it's too much high I don't want like that you can even do the undo for getting back to your photograph or you can just even delete the layer adjustment. I click over somewhere in the shadow part. You can see. This is this time it's too much over her neck. So I'm just finding the right spot. For making the exposure look quite natural for her. You can see that whenever we do a click, the bars are changing automatically over here. So this is was before, this is after. This way, 
we are editing the photographs you can edit its exposure i quite like the uh, first look where we did it manually so you can anytime use the exposure adjustment layer so i hope this tutorial has served a new inspiration for using such exposure adjustment layers for further photography editing adventures and if so hit like share it with your friends subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a video update